As the country prepares to mark 28 years since the genocide that was perpetrated against the Tutsi here in Rwanda, local residents in different parts of the country have noted that any genocidal ideologies and tendencies should not be tolerated and genocide survivors should be supported during such commemoration periods. When it becomes evident that a given area has many people with genocidal tendencies, then obviously that is a problem and will affect local development which is why we must fight such ideologies with all our might. As we enter the commemoration period, there should be no such crimes in our local areas. During the commemoration week, we must first all support those who survived the genocide against the Tutsi. We must stand united with them. The Genocide Survivors Umbrella Organization, Ibuka, is also calling for the punishment of anyone who may seek to harm genocide survivors, verbally or otherwise, and such people should be tried publicly. When such ideologies become evident in different areas through incidents, they affect the harmony in society and make people very self-aware of themselves due to fear of being suspected especially when the responsible individuals are not identified and made an example of through public prosecution. It can become a serious problem when such an approach is not taken. The Rwanda Investigation Bureau has announced that in the last three years, it has received 1,215 dossiers of cases to do with genocidal ideologies and related crimes, the vast majority having to do with the victimization of genocide survivors. We all know that unity is among the pillars this country is built upon, and genocidal ideologies and related crimes look to destroy that pillar of unity. That is why no one should commit or support such crimes. Certainly it has become evident that the intensity of such crimes has been reducing with more of verbal attacks, but that too cannot be tolerated because it is meant to inflict emotional harm. Kigali city authorities have also been urging the general public not to tolerate any actions meant to harm genocide survivors in any way or undermine the progress Rwandans have made in unity and reconciliation. We all saw what recently happened at Nduba, with the Ibuka president there having his two cows hacked, though investigations are still ongoing to determine whether or not the perpetrators did that motivated by genocidal ideologies. Therefore, we ask all the residents in the city to participate in the discussions that will be organized during the commemoration period, as well as other activities in neighborhoods right up to the national level. Also, people should learn to identify others with genocidal ideologies through their words and actions. In 2019, RIB received 404 dossiers to do with genocidal ideologies and related crimes, accounting for 33.3% of all the dossiers it received that year. In 2020, there were 377, then 389 last year. During the first three months of this year, the Bureau received 45 such dossiers. Among such crimes last year, the most prevalent were those meant to harm genocide survivors at 55.6%, then genocidal ideologies in general at 21.1%. Genocide negation was at 7.6%, while genocide denial was at 7%. The suppression of evidence and information relating to the genocide against the Tutsi was at 4.7%, while attempts to justify the genocide were at 4.1%.